Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Yasin. Welcome to Life is Strange 2, Episode 4, Faith. Um, I'm not sure if Finn died. Um, I don't know. The last episode kind of left a, a bit of a cliffhanger, if you will. I'm not sure what happened to everybody. Um, all I remember is that Sean lost his eyeball. So we can only see in one eye now. Or out of one eye, I should say. So that should be interesting, <laughs> I guess. Once upon a time, in a while. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if there was still going to be a wolf story or not. Maybe this is a good thing. Because I feel like every time he tells a story, he's telling it to Daniel. Maybe. They lived in peace. So maybe Daniel is still there. I, for some reason, I thought Daniel would have fled. Like I thought he would have ran away. I don't think he died, but I like I don't know. I thought he was gonna like go on the run, like leave. <laughs> I don't know. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf. But no, a he's a crazy wolf. wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, and they had to move True on. True story. You had to have been there, you know? You just had to the have been there if you're not sure what's going on. made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. Oh, look, it shows the brother a little bit more grown up. Unless that was one night. of the stray wolves. And everybody loved the little wolf who was growing up fast. I was looking at one of the stray wolves, His my power bad. power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. <laughs> Ooh la la. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf. And destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Oh? So he did run away. Then who are we telling the story to ourselves? Are we okay? <laughs> Are we okay? <laughs> I mean, other than not being able to see out of one eye, <laughs> are we okay? <laughs> so he really did flee. I feel like, I feel like Daniel got shot in the shoulder. I think it was the shoulder. So I don't think he would bleed out. I hope not. As annoying as he was, he was only nine years old. So I'm not necessarily as mad at Daniel. I'm more mad at Finn because he manipulated him. Like, Finn is the adult here. The kid is Daniel. So Finn fucked up. If Finn died, I mean, good riddance. Sorry, not sorry. I mean, he manipulated a nine-year-old kid. But I do hope Daniel's okay. Maybe it'll help him grow up a little bit. A little bit? Maybe? Wait, I thought he said he couldn't find him. Uh, Daniel is right there. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. Wait, we can see. It's all good. Is this a flashback? I wish I listened. When you tried to stop me from going with Finn. It's not a flashback. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? What 
Or he's hallucinating. Is he hallucinating? Why don't you come and get me? I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. That is a smile. <laughs> yeah, we were hallucinating. Now, I was about to say, wait, he's right next to you. Yeah, and we cannot see out of our eye. I was right. They tried to trick me. I see what y'all did. I see, I see y'all. <laughs> A hospital in Northern California, two months after the blast at Merrill's. Okay, two months later. Fuck. Yay. Stupid reality shows. <laughs> Leftovers? Do you want to eat it? It looks gross. This must be my punishment. I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, okay. man. March 26, 2017. Was in a coma for weeks. Blind and fucked. In police custody. Going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage. But I suck now. No death perception. No art. No shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. I woke up crying. April 3rd, 2017. Special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion. So he's out there? Alone? Oh, let's see. April 11th, 2017. Happy birthday, Daniel. Wherever you are, Nano. April 15th, 2017. Claire and Steven sent me a nice letter. So lonely I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spear, too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. April 20th, 2017. Wish I could hear Cass play again. All those songs are gone now. But not our time together. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. That wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. Like, I really truly think Sean tried his best. Sean is a kid, too. Trying to raise another kid that he didn't ask for but also they're brothers and he also can't he can't be too bossy because his brother is going to be like well you're not my dad which is true so sean is in a very weird uncomfortable position so i don't really blame sean either i do blame finn though finn finn knew better that wasn't his brother to mess with can't catch shit <sighs> zero depth perception Goodbye, sports. Did you really? How big into sports was he, though? Because I feel like he was more into art, which now he can't do either. Yeah. Thanks for the card, agent. Can't wait to text you. <laughs> Maria, Ele Maria Elena Flores, special agent, Seattle Division. Call any time, day or night, if you want to talk. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's going to help us. That's going to get us in more trouble. Can I look at, is that a phone? No. Who's Joey? I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, I guess we have guess to call I'm the done. nurse. Oh, wait, what's over here? There's letters. Cassidy's letter. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Howdy, city boy. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago. So I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. That sounds like Cassidy. <laughs> I truly hope you are okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at, Mar at Marill's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors call blast lung injury, hurting. Just glad I can still play guitar and sing, not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed. As I'm sure you know, my sweet compadre, still working on that Espanol, missed my lessons and my teacher. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. 
Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe we'll have a whole new set of blues songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked again under a new moonlight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a big world, and maybe we'll meet each other again someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. Aw, I do hope we meet we meet her again. She seems she seems really sweet. Oh, she is really sweet. I mean, we know her. I shouldn't even say seems. Uh, she needs some work on her tattoo skills, though, because that that is still not a very good. It's not a good wolf. Uh, there were letters over here as well. Yeah, right here. Maybe I should have let Daniel help Stephen. Yeah, that wouldn't have made a difference. I don't think. Anyways, Sean, we are grateful to find out that you are safe and awake. The police contacted us when we were... The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in, oh gosh, hum, Humboldt County. We wanted to visit you in the hospital, but Stephen's leg had to recover after his surgery. He's finally walking again. We also want you to recover ASAP, and the doctors say that you came out of that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We're helping the police any way we can. They really want to help... They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every night. We hope to visit you and Jelena Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Stephen. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. So glad Chris is okay. That Me kid too. Is real I am glad he's okay. On his own. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you are okay. I'm fine, but I miss both of you a lot. After my accident, I had to wear a stupid cast forever. I was trapped in my room all winter. Sucks. But summer is here and I can play again. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I will be waiting for you, Chris, and kept in spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from swap bugs. <laughs> Cute. I suppose we should call our doctor now. Get this party started. Time to go to jail. Did it work? Joey. Joey. Oh, I can draw. I hope that he doesn't ruin it. I do want to draw. All right. Got to look up. What do I want to draw? Oh, over here, I guess. I saw something. Outside? Ah, outside, okay. We can't really see out of our left eye. Okay. Oh, okay, here it goes. I was gonna say, I don't really see anything. All right, got it. So hard to focus. <sighs> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. Aww. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. I feel bad. Like, he, and he's really good at drawing too. So it's sad that this is, I bet he would have rather have been like his foot or something, like a broken foot. It doesn't look that bad. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, draw prison bars, draw staircase. Let's draw a staircase. We don't want to be negative, you know? you know? I was thinking about prison bars for a second though. I'm not gonna lie. Staircase like a staircase to heaven? Maybe that was a depressing thing to draw, too. I don't know. Are we done? Oh, not quite. Almost. Wish I could find a highway to freedom. Trophy earned for drawing a picture. I don't think that looked that bad. I really don't. I think Hello. it looks pretty good. Afternoon checkup. Sure. 
<laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. Aww, Thanks, Joey. He seems like How a nice doctor. Today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> now. Been doing my retina try exercises. To follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Thanks. Keep doing going. my retina exercises. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Thank you, sir. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Wait. Uh, move your pin with L and press X if you see that it's aligned with Joey's. Okay. Am I moving it? Oh, I'm, I'm using the wrong. That's not L. My bad. I can't really tell. Wait, I gotta move my head, right? More to see? Isn't that what he said? Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. I know, I messed up. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. Man, I failed. In your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, mm. read this. Hmm. <laughs> hey, we were cleared. Get me out of here. I am a pirate. Get me out of here. Please, Joey. Sean, I want to help you, but that's not my job. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, All I true. do is watch him <laughs> like it's your job. <laughs> do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. Remember, I'm only 17 still, I think. I think. I'll swing by later, Sean. Then again, I could be 18. Daniel just had a birthday. Stay I think cool. I'm still 17. I'm still a minor, right? Don't charge me as an adult. I'm, a, I'm, I'm still a minor. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. <sighs> what? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. 
Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. Yeah, I didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just... I can't. Daniel killed him. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? He was killed, yeah. Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows. Bad I luck, hear you, bad place in the wrong time. You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Finn. Yes, it was yours? his. Huh? Finn. Finn. It was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? No. Or did you go along with it? Hell no. I tried to stop my brother. He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against it. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. Didn't want this. They didn't deserve it. Uh, they didn't want... Uh, I don't know. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are really? Because it sure does help. feel like I'm alone. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. I want to talk to my grandpa. That's why I, I want to talk to because he's the only one other than me that knows surgery. about Daniel's powers. We That's like a Daniel real adult. Mother, Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Now what, are we looking around? I suppose. Sorry, Finn. I'm not sorry. It was his fault. <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. I wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Ah, Meryl got to live? Well, damn. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. They shouldn't have. Penny wasn't part of the heist. Lotus? Yes. Is that it? Hi. I can't really interact with anything else. I think we're just waiting for her to come back. Everything okay? I don't know why he said sorry about Finn. I mean, it was Finn's idea. And we literally said, no, our brother cannot be involved. And he didn't listen. And he was shot. Daniel did get shot. So yeah, no, I'm not sorry about Finn. Bonella, will you down the phone, please? Yeah. How's it going, Sean? How's it, how's it going? Only having one working eyeball. <laughs> okay, sorry, that's mean. That's mean. Sorry oh. about that. Yeah, you should be sorry. I wanna know where my brother is. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. You lied to me. You have no leads. 
You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. Lied? When did I lie? Fuck. You. I'm done. Anyway. Wait, when did I lie? Excuse you! I'll be back tomorrow. If she to take only you to knew. If she only knew. Daniel killed him, okay? But, like, if I told you my brother has superpowers, oh. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna go to jail. I'm gonna be in the nut house. <laughs> like, excuse you! <laughs> what do you mean? I lied. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. Oh, I was not going to let us see it. It must be pretty gross. This morning. What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Are they actually gonna let me use this if I'm in jail though? Wait a minute, he said he's going to juvie. That means they're not trying him as an adult, right? Juvie's a children's jail or a minor's jail. Maybe that's a good Coat thing? Will that mean he's out when he's 18? And cream. Maybe. Then again, they think he killed a cop. I don't know, but juvie is typically not for adults, then unless I'm not. You know, I'm not. Dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. All right. Catch you later. What do I need the towel for? Maybe he like slipped us a little a little note. <sighs> Joey. You are her boss. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, it's our journal. I thought it was going to be chocolate, because I thought he wanted chocolate. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? My guess was that Ten he would try to find, himself. um, 
God, I almost say oh, Captain dear. America every time. Chris. I figured he would try to find Chris. He might go back to Seattle. But too far. He Nowhere wouldn't have found go. his mom on his own, would he? If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait, what's that? Super Wolf? Huh? Super Wolf? Does that mean? It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Had a few beers. <sighs> Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. We gotta hide. It's not easy. I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. Hmm. Agent 420, give me hot dogs. Cassidy the Wild versus Hannah the Wise. I feel like that picture is so good. Me? Two-story house shit. I, I can't read that. Acranial Ac is freaking me out. Wow, that picture is really good, too. Depression night. Everyone shared their worst memory. Everyone felt like shit. What a wonderful world. Went to bed early with Daniel. Kind of wish I could have stayed like everyone else, though. Meh. A fucking woo. I'm a swear wolf. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Daniel messed up again. Gotta fix this shit. So fucking tired of running away. And that's it. Did I miss something? All I gotta do is find that page. With Jacob's home. Of Jacob's home. Haven Point, Nevada. Uh, let's see. Met the new workers from Europe. Anders and Ingrid, or Ingrid, cute couple. Makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He's lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here. Free? So we're heading to Nevada. To Does Daniel even feel escape. bad for what he did? Does he even know what he did Tonight. to my eye? Does he even know how badly damaged, like, hurt damaged Cassidy was? Like, does he realize the extent, like, how bad what he did was? Like, is he even sorry? If he's not sorry, then he can, Jacob can have him. Sacred Hope Hospital. Well... Don't really have any hope, considering I might be going okay. to Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Oh my god, we really are just gonna leave! Oh my god! Oh no! Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Nada. I can't believe we're really gonna run. Isn't it better to just, I don't know, not? The more Maybe we run, the more suspicious we're gonna look. Like, why? Decoy Sean in the bed. Why are we doing this? Oh, we can keep his pin as like a souvenir, I guess. Okay, make a fake body. <sighs> that looks so fake. <clears throat> but it might work for a second. Can I have some privacy, please? Evacuation plan. Wish I could just walk out. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Sweet dreams, my friend. 
maybe I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin or So ask for medicine? I don't know. Let me look at the evacuation plan first. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. You are here. Uh, so we're the star. Yeah, we're the star. Okay, where would my backpack be? Do I actually need it that badly? I could interact with the window too. Uh, need a superhero to open that shit. Daniel, where are you? Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. Yeah, good sign if you want to leave. That's it. I think that's everything. I think we can go. There must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. Check eye? Can we see it? I do want to see the eye. Uh. Yeah, not really. It doesn't really want us to see it. Maybe it thought it was too gross. This one isn't screwed in. Let's do it. I feel like this is going to make so much noise. <clears throat> hey, what the hell are you doing in there? Uh oh. <sighs> nice job, Sean. <sighs> now the guard is awake and pissed off. I'm not doing anything. What do you mean? I'm just going to use this to pry the window open, you know? That's all. Nothing to see here. I don't know if he'll leave without his backpack, though, which I think is so dumb. We can always steal more stuff. Man, I was hoping he was going to use the, the... What was the point of breaking it off if we're not even going to use it? Ambush the guard? I don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, sir. Hello. Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy kid. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Uh I don't think we have a choice. Oh no, but this would definitely get us in trouble. Is there really no other way? Oh no. Ah, uh, this is so not a good idea. Maybe I could get Joey to help me. Hey, hello? I need help, please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I, need I don't think this is a good idea. What if I hit Joey? Oh my god, I don't like this. You're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. <gasps> oh. oh, daddy -o. want to do that but I didn't know if there was another option <laughs> crap we're getting arrested for sure now <laughs> there's no way that did not help our case at all
That's... That's Finn. No way. Ah, fuck Finn. What is he doing here? Wake up or escape. We gotta go. Dude, sorry not sorry, but like, who cares about Finn? Maybe that's not a choice that all of you would have made, but that's one I'm making. We gotta go. Yeah, most people lock their doors, dude, and especially if they're like staying here for a while. Such an idiot! Oh my gosh! Daniel was safe. He should have just told them where Daniel was. They gotta stop running. They can't run forever. Who wants to live like this? Just admit what you did. He might have only had to go to jail till he was 18 if they didn't try him as an adult. But after what he just pulled, they probably will try him as an adult now. Unless they see Daniel's powers. I don't know. Maybe he sees it as Daniel can protect him with his powers. I don't know, but that's not a good way to look at it, though. That's actually creating a supervillain, for real. On the road again. Time to be homeless once again. Because we'd rather run from our problems instead of face them. <laughs> I'm surprised I can drive. Aren't I still trying to figure out? Like, I mean, I know he could see out of one eye, but isn't he still trying to figure out how to, I don't know. I don't even know what I was trying to ask. Apparently he can see. I'm just surprised he can drive. That's all, that's all I was trying to say. Ooh, I like the scenery. runs out of gas oh well no i don't know did we ever find our backpack maybe i wasn't paying attention because uh i know we had a thousand dollars okay i think we finished the intro for episode four, four. <laughs> we're in a desert chasing us. I'm surprised. I look sleepy though. I 
I mean, if he doesn't want to get arrested, I guess he really does have to go to Mexico, right? They can't follow him, like the police. They can't call the police in Mexico, can they? I feel like they can't, right? I think that's why he's going to Mexico. That, and of course he said that's where his dad used to be. I feel like they can't though. I feel like they can't follow you. That would be another country. What if Daniel left us on purpose because he wanted us to go to jail? So he didn't he didn't have yes, me bossing him around. I just had just had that feeling. Fuck. Guess I'm kinda lucky I stole a smoker's car. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Or what? <laughs> he can't escape. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. We're almost there. Is there anything in the back now? So we did find our backpack. I must not have been paying attention, my bad. On the, at least on that part. Oh, that's right. I have to do I have to take care of my eyes. See, I already forgot. All right, careful. Ah, oh, my poor eyeball. I hope he'll get his vision back one day. Like, I wonder if it was permanent damage or just until Man. it heals. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Owner stuff. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Oh, wow. 8.45, drop off kids. 10 a.m. hospital checkup. Noon, 1.30, lunch with hubby. 2 o'clock, Miss Scott's x-ray blood test. 3.30, pick up kids. 5 o'clock, night shift. Holy moly, that's a long day. What a mess. Flotis can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Not to mention assaulting Shit. a cop or officer. It will never hold until Haven Point. So what do we do? Looked at the wires, the cigarettes. Take it. I feel like I should call her. I mean, what am I gonna do? I don't, oh, there's a light up here. Oh, get some sleep. I'm supposed to take a nap. Why do I feel like this is a bad idea though? Like I know I'm tired, but I'm gonna get found. They're looking for me. Uh, I don't think that was a good idea. Oh, well, okay, never mind. I, I guess we're fine. We're driving again, so we must be fine. Oh, man. He's so dumb, though. Like, why? Why did I want to leave? Like, Daniel's fine. At least I know he's with Jacob. I don't know. I don't know. He's just making it worse for himself. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just zoning out. 
Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. Hey, I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. So do I. Even if you hate to get hugs from your old man. I thought that I was going to be like, you know, no. And then I, was, I thought I was going to be sarcastic. Uh, they won't let me live that choice down. <laughs> I did want to hug Good you. Way. I'm Boy, not a bad son. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> I don't want to talk. Going okay. Not much to talk about. Uh, well, not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. <laughs> it's just... I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, you are hooked, my son. <laughs> don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes, it's so cool. Hey, Sean, don't crash the car. He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks like a grandma. <laughs> we'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her. <laughs> Time. Ooh la la. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. This is gonna make me cry. This is all part of growing up. I know. All the things he probably wishes he could say to his like dad. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, Sean. Hey, <sighs> wake up. <gasps> Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh no! Oh man, I crashed hard. Oh yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Oh no! Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. I'm coming or I'm leaving now. What do I do? You deaf? I said out. Oh, I guess I didn't answer in time. Oh, no. Oh, no. To deal with assholes <laughs> like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I just got lost, man. I wasn't sure where I was, so I pulled over. I swear. I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I... I can't see out of this eye. <laughs> Be I nice to me. It. He's just a kid and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? 
An accident. A fight? Uh, a fight. Uh, I got into a fight. Of course. Bet you deserved it. Bet you Moved deserved it. it. Maybe I should have said accident. Damn it, I should have said accident! Ah. Oh, what's this? Drugs? Yeah. From my eye, you oh, asshole! Yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Ah, Take so they're back. racist. Dude, come on. Get it. Let's see what he's holding. Poor Sean can't catch a freaking break. So? Nothing good. Until he finds my one thousand dollars. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Take it back or do nothing. Oh, we're taking it back. Whoa! You did not. That's it, boy. Uh. Get up. But maybe I shouldn't have did that, but I thought he would have. Oh. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. I don't speak asshole. Sorry, Chad. sir. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Should I just do it? Oh, you don't want to share your language? Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, he's Maybe like... you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> that, please. Go fuck your mother. Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say... This is not my country. Fuck off. Fuck off. This is my country. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm not gonna let you bully me into saying something that's not true. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. Oh, please. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Sing? I don't... Oh, this is bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm sticking to my guns. He's gonna beat the shit out of me, but no. whatever. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop, stop it, Chad. Uh, what the fuck, man? Uh, uh, Why is that my, uh, he's stopping him. Uh, uh, <laughs> Holy cow, what are you doing? Listen, you little beaner, get your shit and go. I will, yeah. asshole. Can we run him over? We've already assaulted a cop. Might as well murder for real. I'm fine with it. If it lets me have the option, I'm gonna do it. You'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay? Fuck! Fuck! Man, maybe I should have said accident. We're almost out of gas. I knew we shouldn't have fallen asleep, though. I didn't know because of that. I thought it was going to be a cop knocking at our door, but like, you shouldn't, no. And if we fall asleep, 
Well, I was gonna say it should have been at the gas station, but we have wanted posters everywhere. I don't know, but not there. Ugh, not in the middle of nowhere. They, there's a saying, and it's so very that, true. If you, a lot of people who live out in the country, really it's because they're hiding something. They live out in the country because they're bad people. They're trying to the hide their racism. Hurt, I don't nothing know, but they usually hide the stuff in the country. From following his brother's Not death. everybody. I'm just saying I grew up in the country, and our neighbors did some crazy stuff. Nothing, like, bad. Just, like, they, like, grew weed and stuff. Like, nothing, like, super bad or anything. I'm just saying that, like, things that weren't legal, that's why they were in the country. Oh, Sean. Oh no, this is the part we saw in the like little trailer. I think this is where we get caught by the cops. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Man, I'm gonna get heat poisoning. Sun poisoning. I don't know. Maybe they're said both ways. Can I sit down on a rock and relax? Oh, shit, I need a break. Stop. I can't run for miles in this heat. Ugh. Oh, it's because I was making him run. All right, we'll walk. Not trying to kill you. Oh, let's see. 22 miles. Get some spaghetti. I don't know if we have any money, though. Okay, he doesn't want to sit on a tire. This is going to be a long walk. Oh, my gosh. Especially since he won't let us run, which I get. I get. Realistically, if we were in a desert, we wouldn't want to run. Oh, what's this? Shade. Okay. Yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. We're gonna go through Don't all this just for Daniel feet. to be ungrateful. Just pace it's yourself. Happen. I know it. I know it. I'm already letting myself get triggered, and it hasn't even happened yet. Ah, oh, his poor eye. Oh, we can also draw. <sighs> Shit. My throat feels like sand. Ah, oh, poor Sean. He's sunburnt real bad. You can see it on his arms, and obviously he's really sweaty. <sighs> We're gonna take a, a desert little drawing break. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Ah, uh, oh, right her. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Oh, was I not done? Thought I was. Oh, I am. He wants to draw the sky. Okay. Just draw now. Oh, Don't I thought it was going to be like, time to pick up the pen, dude. Maybe he's too sad for that this time. This place is so empty. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. All right, our last finishing touch. 
Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Guess I could spice things up a bit. Draw hell Make or the draw the oasis? Funnier. We're gonna draw hell. <laughs> I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready <laughs> to draw now. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. I bet like being sweaty and being like in the desert too, it's probably putting a lot of dirt and stuff in his eye with the wind and everything. Like I know it's covered, but I feel like it being wet from sweat is not going to help it. Hopefully it doesn't get more infected. The guy took our medicine too, didn't he? So we can't even like clean it. Should have said accident. That is the only thing I regret when it comes to that fight is the accident. I do not regret um, like doing what he wanted because I'm not, I'm not a joke. Like I'm a person. No. I hate bullying. That thing, oh, that makes me so I mad. What's I up can't with stand Aiden bullies. Point. Daniel better be okay. <sighs> Feels like I haven't seen him in years. I hope we can work out everything that's happened. Yeah, you can wait to get out on your own. Hey, a wolf. Now you are. And it sucks. We can't follow it. I know it wouldn't be safe to do that anyways, but... No oh. way I'm gonna die out here. Daniel might dig this. What is it? It was a bone, but I thought it would tell me what the bone was. Oh, we just got an Amazing Grace trophy. All right, let's go. Whoa! Oh, shit. Better stick to the road. Ooh, a dead animal. That's why it was over here. Are we gonna take that too for Daniel? <laughs> Kidding. Shit. This place is freaking me out. Aw. Poor bunny. But unfortunately, it's the circle of life, as the Lion King would sing. This would be a nice time for Brody to like all of a sudden be like, whoa, man, what you doing here? <sighs> oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Please be Brody. Brody, I need you. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Hopefully he's somebody nice, because we don't really have energy to, to fight him off. Truckers can't be cops, right? I'm trying to walk faster, but I I, just, I don't want to fall over. Wait for me, sir. I'm coming. Just get ready to run. Oh, get ready to run. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. I know this probably yeah. isn't a good idea, Thanks. but like, Hold up. we're dying. I, I know this isn't a good idea, but I don't want to die of heat stroke either. Watch him just take us straight to the cops.
Choco crisps. Daniel's favorite. Too bad we don't care anymore. <laughs> Except we do care. We do care. Jeez. What the hell happened to you? Got beat up. I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hey, Anton. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS oh, no. Parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> eh, too much information, but... <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> well, That's funny. That. Over and out. Okay, I'm glad he didn't say he picked up a kid. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. I didn't even know there was a hitchhiking law. I also don't ever plan so, on hitchhiking. You hungry or what? You look hungry. Yeah, I would eat it, dude. I am. You don't know the next time you're gonna eat. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best <laughs> sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. What's your destination? Hmm. Can I tell him the truth? Point. Yeah, okay. You've heard of it? Oh, yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. About an hour? And that's in a car. We were gonna drive? I mean, we were gonna drive. We were gonna walk that far? If it's an hour drive, it would have been, I don't know, three hour, four hour walk? Crazy. We wouldn't have made it. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. Yeah, until he pulls over at a gas station and sees that, that we're wanted by the police, and then he calls them while we're sleeping. Last stop, even point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Hey, we were okay. You didn't find out about anything and... Yay, okay, so hopefully that was a good choice. I hope, I hope. So he dropped us off at a church. Life is a gamble, bet on the Lord. Oh, that's right, I forgot. That's right, Jacob was the religious one. Not saying that he was the only one, but he was the only one that talked about it. Wow, forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. Grandparent. I'm sorry, but like the grandma? I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about the grandma. <laughs> the grandpa though, he was the real deal. A lot of cars for a place in the middle of nowhere. 
I wanted to read the billboard. <sighs> For sure. Claire wouldn't approve gambling. <laughs> Alright, should we uh, check out the playground? Are we gonna steal some kid toys? So glad this guy picked me up. We don't know. Can we go down the, the kitty slide? <laughs> hmm. Must be more kids here. Huh. Wonder if Daniel made friends. <coughs> Alright, I suppose we should go talk. <coughs> oh, she sounds sick. I don't want what you got. You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Yes, first time looking for someone. Uh, not really looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Huh? Uh... What miracle? Huh. You haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Oh Just God, is it Daniel? They think he's like sent from Jesus because he has superpowers? Daniel. Are they talking about Daniel? Our miracle? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that would be hilarious. <laughs> poor little girl. Her <sighs> yeah, very humble. That poor little girl. Cough sounds real bad. Daniel, are you doing stupid shit again? <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Oh my god, it's so true! Come join Reverend Fisher and new dis disciple? Disciple Daniel for a private picnic! Oh my god, damn it, Daniel! Damn it! <laughs> you idiot! Good. If Daniel's here, at least it won't go viral. Oh my gosh. No, we're not donating. We're poor. Donations can pay for all of this. Why do we bow to these machines? Nice picture. Wonder if they'll let me in. If Daniel's not careful, he may not be let in. Wait. No way. The angel Daniel? <laughs> Shit. Uh, this is <laughs> I was not expecting this so like thank you the creators of the game this was such this was so unpredictable like this is so this is great <laughs> this is perfect Reverend Elizabeth Fisher invites you to witness the power of the Lord within our own child and church live miracles oh my gosh he can't cure people's sickness no Maybe we're going to try to clean up a bit. Better clean up first, so I don't scare Daniel. Dude, you should scare Daniel. He's the reason we look like this. Angel my butt. More like pain in my butt. That's... Better than nothing, mm. I guess. I love how we're about to get arrested and Daniel is like enjoying his life, even though he's the cause of a lot of our problems. 
all of our problems, technically. Obviously, he didn't want our dad to die, but he did get the fake blood on our neighbor that started the whole thing. So, in a way, he's uh, he he's it's his fault for everything, everything that happened to Sean. Speak now. <laughs> oh, I feel your Holy Spirit. I want to hear your story. Let me come to you, brothers and sisters. Oh. My brothers and sisters. Oh, shit. I will draw too much attention. I better try upstairs. Oh, I thought it said I could take... <laughs> I thought it said I could take money from there. I know I shouldn't, but I was thinking about it. Wonder if Claire and Steven would like this place. Not if they knew what Daniel was doing. Faith. We hear that word a lot, but... Faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel, a child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle. Why would Daniel want to leave? For. I mean, he's literally being treated like a God. Can I get a hallelujah? Ridiculous. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? They only knew he used that power to kill a cop then please and uh, sever my welcome eyeball. Welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. God, I just hate him even more. Oh, I, I've never thought I would hate a kid, but God, he gets on my nerves. He even gets that, he has that coconut head haircut. But God saved Daniel so he could do his Oh, please. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought oh to gosh. me to this deliver This is triggering us. me. This is not what I thought to was gonna happen. From the wilderness oh, to our destiny. Now, Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Oh my gosh. with us after all this they love him now we have a voice a messenger our flock keeps growing 
I see more and more new faces. But this They do realize that's all he can do, right? Beginning. Like he can lift things up, you which is cool. But he can't heal world. anybody. Bear witness to this. Jesus could year. heal. Thank you. Daniel can't do that. So much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. So dumb. So dumb. Praise you, Daniel. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child at another miracle. John's probably Any thinking, questions? why? What did I do to deserve to all of these God. series of events? Bless what did I do? Coming today. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not ready to talk to Daniel. I'm not ready yet. This is going to trigger me so much. But they love me, Sean. I'm the angel. The angel Daniel. Haven't you heard? Yeah, angel my butt. You've been the complete opposite of that. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <sighs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our Reverend Mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh... That's too bad. <coughs> hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. Ask okay. your angel Daniel. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, oh, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. <laughs> yeah. Did he talk about how he hurt my eye? Well. I bet he didn't. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? Who's your Reverend? Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's her mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. Everybody can sin. We try not to, but everybody can. What do you mean she can't sin? What is this place? This is our home. <laughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. What is Daniel doing here he's our miracle and the lord brought him right to our reverend mother i like him he's really kind and funny we play together all the time oh is she gonna be daniel's first girlfriend though so can you take me to daniel oh yes he's gonna be so happy when he sees you he missed you so much for his birthday it will be like a late surprise Except, I mean, he literally left me there. Did he not see that I had a piece of glass stuck in my eye when he just left me there? God, I don't like Daniel at all anymore. Like, I don't even want to play the game anymore. Like, screw this kid. Ugh. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my. Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? You look dumb. What? what <laughs> that haircut. Don't worry. What happened to my eye? You, you asshole! You! Because of. Yeah. Me? Yeah. I'm so Everything sorry. has been because of you. I'm Ugh. sorry. I'm so sorry. I warned you. Oh my God. I really want to say that, but I feel like I should say it's in the past. It is his it's fault over, though. It's over, Daniel. We just got to walk on. Does it hurt? No. 
Not as much as your haircut. Thank Shut you. Up. It's so bad. <laughs> it's different. I kind of like terrible. It. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And it's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I. We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But. We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm One sure. One step at a time. That's a way of saying if so Sean's here, I can't manipulate this kid. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Mm, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Well, I'm Daniel trying to understand why the chapter the is called kit. Faith. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. Yeah, apparently too gone. long, you crazy bitch. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. I'm judging so you. what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Yeah, sorry, God. I have to. Or you. God, of course. Mm-hmm. Please. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. No, it's because she wants and Daniel, Daniel all to herself. Be your golden cow. Daniel, come on. Why don't we ask him? Yeah, what he don't wants touch to me, do bitch. Not touch me. What the fuck? She totally did that on purpose. What did you do? Nothing. She did Enough. that on purpose. Dramatic. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here impure and acting like oh a queen. Oh my gosh, but dramatic. Saved, Daniel. She's right. You showed up and look what happens. Like all the You're the reason I look like this. Oh, just let something. Daniel go. I don't even and care what happens to him anymore. To you. Just let, let her, who cares? I'm so done. light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. <laughs> Let him I'm go. Who stay. cares? That's fine, Daniel. I don't give a fuck what you do anymore. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! Ridiculous. There you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Oh, shut the hell up. Get up. Fuck these people. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Daniel! Daniel! 
Oh, I don't care about him anymore. It's gone. Like, I'm right. not gonna be nice to him Proper. anymore. Like, I, I, I really don't care any anymore. Intruders. Like you. I just want my brother. But I don't. He I'm not gonna help you get him anymore. You. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next That's time, fine, you can have him. I will not. He better not come crawling to back to me, because I don't want him anymore. Now get out of here. With pleasure. Daniel, hey! Wait till you see what his power can really do. Daniel. Sean. Karen. You won't get him back. How the hell did she find me? <laughs> what the heck? Our mom? What? <laughs> what? Speaking of more being more unpredictable. How the hell? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe we can have a happy life with our mom. Maybe she'll feel bad and everything will be fine and Daniel can, you know, whatever the fuck he wants to do. Be the super villain he was born to be. Sean, what happened to your eye? Fucking Daniel, your stupid ass son. I'm so mad. Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Haha, ha, Daniel. I got to see our mom before you. Yes, I'm gonna be I'ma be petty. He's the one that wanted to see our mom. I didn't. I get to see her before you. Haha. <laughs> uh I can't. I can't help it. I can't. There's only so much so many times you can help somebody. He doesn't want help. He, he, he hadn't, he wanted nothing to do with us ever since he met Finn. I mean, he, he's gone. The Daniel that we knew is gone. What does that have, like, little fish on it? Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but... That felt good. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Maybe she's running from the law, too. Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing <laughs> soon. And then here. Close we go. He's not in here. I wonder here. how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's? Miracles? I know I shouldn't peek, but... Whatever. <laughs> Condoms, dinner bills, a notebook. Damn. 
Karen does like to capture the world around her. Racing closer every mile, my heart goes racing. Sore. I remember. Know the feeling. There's no fighting back that beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues. Coffee. Red-eyed truckers and sad families. Bad eggs. Not the waitress's fault. She's a quick, hurried one. Probably ending a long night shift. Tag says Clementine. 22-ish. Redhead dyed brunette. Eyebrows and skin tone don't lie. Irish, de Irish descent? Owner's daughter, maybe. Mahoney's? Vague. Polite smile. Busy mind. Mildly clumsy. Looks distracted. Looks distracted. Anxious? Young cook called her Clemmy. Brother? Boyfriend? Boyfriend. Apologize when the orders are late and she's the only one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Mixing up work and love seldom makes a good match. Is that a brand new baby bump under the stained apron? It's 2017 and young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing really changes. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Wow. Oh, wait, there was more. There was more. Hang on. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Pretty cool. I oh, don't need to look at the condoms. We know what condoms are. Kind of pretty. <coughs> Wonder if she made it. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. I'm sure she has. Hey, maybe we could tell her the truth. Uh, you should this actually know what Janice's powers are like. Way too big. I really should finish reading this someday. Hey, a casino token. A little souvenir. Huh. This isn't her tablet. One, one, two, seven, oh. Yay. Technology. She came prepared. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church Haven Point. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And I surely am with you always to the very end. Mission. Accept the Lord, spread the word of Jesus, keep face with the community to seek and save the lost. A message from Reverend Mother Lisbeth Fisher. As the pastor of our holy church, I devoted my life and love to the teaching of, of the gospel and our Lord. I was blessed since childhood to be given this calling, and it is my priv privilege to, sp to spread the word and preside over this loving righteousness community of Haven Point. I look forward to meeting each and every one who seeks, who seeks out our humble refuge. Together we will begin the journey to a new life, guided by the spirit of the Lord and Savior. Bless you all. The Haven Point community. Haven Point, Neva Nevada is a living oasis where individuals and families can live out their faith in a community dedicated to the teachings of Christ. All who share our face are welcome to join us, build a bridge to the Lord, and his eternal estate. Hospitality. Beloved, it is a faithful thing you do in all your efforts for these brothers, strangers as they are. Gratitude. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Forgiveness. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger. Brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgive you. For God forgave you. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. A slice of Haven Point. Let's see, it's by Robert Neal. One of the great mysteries in Nevada is how, is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Few tourists travel from around the world to seek religion here, but in tight-knit Christian community of Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following. As she told me in an interview at, at her peaceful church office, Reverend Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble dis disciple of the Lord, feeling the call to share his love and glory in this dark age. I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand, but this is not about me or my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. And tell me they did. The members of the Universal Uprising Church speak with the husband of their pastor and how, t and how she inspires them. Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us, says Corey Johnson, 34, a recent addition to the congregation. I was pretty cynical before I went to one of her revivals. You could feel the electricity when she spoke. People were crying, including me. Looks like a roach motel. Hot dog man, mustard but party too. Nobody will find me there. 
Cheap Motel, Haven Point, Nevada. Sand Snake Motel, ratings two. Beds are super uncomfortable, but it's cheap. Nice pool, but dusty as fuck. Nice roadside motel, cool staff. That's it. Okay. And there's a note. We've come a long, long way, buddy. We'll read the note last. Here's our backpack. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. We also keep getting beat up. We only have $17? What happened to it? Figured as much, the cops took all my cash. Wow. Chris's letter, we already read that. Grandparents' letter, we already read that. Does he want to look at this again? Oh, it's broken. Oh, who cares though? The only one who cares is Daniel. We don't care about Daniel anymore. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Hmm. It might be. All right, should we read the letter? Oh, the curtain. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. We can draw. <clears throat> I think this is the most I've drawn in an episode so far. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. Old an episode. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. I'm looking forward to uh, hearing Karen's story. What do we want to look at now? This guy? Oh, wait, right here. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. I'm trying to draw. You're not doing anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, can I we guess observe that's again? Okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Take the pin, dude. Alright, this is our final part of the picture. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. What ah, we did it. This remote motel was a hideout for cultists. Does that mean he wants to draw again? A hole to observe, yeah, okay. It got stuck for a minute. I was pushing up and it wasn't moving. <sighs> These mountains really inspire me. I gotta say, ever since my eye got injured though, I've had, my imagination has gotten more, or has increased, I should say. <laughs> Looks pretty cool to me. All right, back to reality, dude. We can't leave. Let's read the note she left us. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Let's see. Dear Miss Diaz, my name is Jacob and I worked with your son, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're supposed to care. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. 
All right, how am I supposed to call him? I thought I would use the phone over there. Oh, this phone. Time to hit up Jacob. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Tomorrow at four. Okay, well. Do we want to, though? I mean, he got Damn. himself into this mess. He couldn't really talk. I lost my compassion. <sighs> oh, I really did. So I mean, up. he's gonna have to apologize because I'm over it. Like, I'm over his bullshit already. I'm not going out. Better wait for Karen in here. All right, I guess I'll wait for Karen. <sighs> Let's just rest while I wait for her. <sighs> if she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah, I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion, right? That'll do. The awkward silence. <laughs> Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. He's starving. What do what you expect? You We've been on the road. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. Or we could How just leave him there. Survive alone on the road for that <laughs> long. We almost didn't. We just kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way. You know I, mean, I don't have to Brody. answer questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why, if you care? So, ask me anything. Why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, 
and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. It felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean... Well, she I likes deserts, you. in general. My friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. I agree. I lived in Arizona for like 10 years. Really do I didn't good, like it, so. but that's just me. I miss the greenery, I guess. But I lived by the Mexican border, so like yeah. very dead, okay. dead part of Arizona. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one you life. You did have a choice. You should have chose not to get pregnant if you didn't want regrets. kids. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I know you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. We've we've gone through too I much to be assholes. I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. And now we're gonna draw, I think. Scenery is pretty though. This is not my cup of tea, I guess. I like seeing trees, like I love trees. I like flowers too, but I can't grow them to save my life because I forget that they exist and then I don't water them. Oops. <laughs> Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us or dad of course sean i do miss your father he had such a big heart he could brighten up a rainy day that was like his superpower but above all i missed watching you grow up see how you saw the world i missed sharing these moments with you sean we used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. <laughs> or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School job, marriage, ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oof, I tried, 
But I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay, but why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. Well, clearly we didn't move on. I mean, we're still gonna think about you. You're did. still our mom. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. But Sean remembered you? Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? I'm sure you could guess. I, I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. No. No. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You sound so careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. I mean, it would be nice if she get him out of that cult, I guess. I guess, even though, you know, we don't like him anymore. I couldn't live with myself. Hey, Mom, I want to smoke. You could start by... Or your forgiveness can start right now. Look at him looking at that cigarette light. Mm. As for his hey, smoke... Um... Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. That is totally something okay. Daniel would do. I had to. I had to. He was looking at that cigarette like it was gin. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. I'm surprised she didn't ask what happened, no, like with our dad. Like, like I know she knows he's dead, but did she actually know what happened? He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend, Lila. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. Shut the hell up and watch you shouldn't have friend zone Lila. I still think she kind of liked him. I think they had like a thing going and they just didn't want to admit it. All right, I suppose we should go inside. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay, let's go. How about I end it too soon? I thought they were done talking. I thought that's why it said that I could go inside.
Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. Don't make me regret it. I know. I want to trust her. I do. I hope she doesn't let us down, though, because we've yes. been let down a lot in this game. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. What are we going to do? He doesn't want to leave. Uh, just grab, like, a like a, a trash bag and just <laughs> gar grab him and run? More than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Radio, smart. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? I feel like he would say no, but like... But like, yes. this is part of building trust, right? We're supposed Thanks. to trust each other and work so, as a team. Do you feel like telling me the story here? Tell Only her the time. truth. When we have time? What do you mean when we have time? We have plenty of it. I really feel like, obviously, I don't think Sean would have said yes, but like, we're trying to build trust over here and I've made so many poor choices. I'm hoping that this one is a good one. Maybe, hopefully. I was waiting for him to be like, ow, never mind, let me do it. Because <laughs> he's mad at her. Oh, I know he missed her. Here, try this on. Wow, an eye patch. Thanks, Mom. I've uh, I wanted to be a pirate for real, for real. <laughs> Thanks. Her first present back to us after How seeing not seeing us for years. An Great. eye patch. Thank you. Love Tara. that. <laughs> Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Arr, matey, time to get some. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. That should be my title for the last episode. Arr, I'm a pirate. <laughs> or this chapter. I'm not going to, though, but that would be a funny title. Meeting point the next day. All right, time to find out what really went down with Jacob. I want to know how he, how she even knew that Jacob had power. Or Jacob, sure, he's going to show. That up. Daniel had powers, the Reverend he Mother better. or whatever. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. You have no idea. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? A little shithead. He used to be good. He's a little rascal. He never stops. Just like you did, you know? I didn't have superpowers. Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens, and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. 
I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Ah! Uh. Oh! So you took my brother and my money! Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't that just leave him That he got from his own stupid mistakes. I'm not, again, I don't think he should have died, but I do think he deserved to get something happen to him. Like, sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. Getting shot in the shoulder was learning the hard way. He didn't die, which is good. I didn't want him to die, but he had to learn a lesson. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Meryl's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. Oh, no. That was the last time I saw them. So they probably got arrested. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. Yes, he is. I should have protected him better. <laughs> I'm telling you <laughs> oh to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. And Lisbeth is the okay, same Jake. age as Daniel. I'm I do think we should help him with her. Lisbeth I agree. knows what's wrong with Actually, Sarah I don't Lee. think her name was her name we Elizabeth. Just, I don't know, but her medical sister. record. I think it said Sarah. I, think it's I don't know. Office. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm then trying. I'll go get Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee. Okay, her. Sarah. I was about okay. to say I don't think it's Elizabeth. Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? Then we leave him. He will. I know him. He's not gonna come with us. I mean, literally, we've been nice to him this entire game, and he's not, he has not cared at all. If this is how he wants to live his life and be a supervillain, I mean, by all means. But I guess we're still gonna try. Apparently, we haven't learned our lesson yet for trying to help Daniel. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Lisbeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. In and okay. out, got it. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. 
People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Uh, yep, I was already way ahead of you. I'm definitely not gonna alert myself. I'd be like, hi guys, remember me? The guy that got kicked out? L1 and X to call Karen on the walkie. Oh, sweet. So, did you grow up out of here? I don't have to call no. her. Okay. In another community back east. Wouldn't let. Oh! Come on. Well, hello, young Hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh. Uh, nothing? Bye. We're just... You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service is over, right? Right. I, I, I'm sorry, but we, we were just... Uh, my dad just forgot his uh, jacket in our reverend's home, so he asked me to go get it. <laughs> that is so Robert, and he's too proud to get it back himself. <laughs> you know the man. Okay, well, just hurry up. We'll be closing the gates soon. Okay. <laughs> no, Jacob no worries. told us not to let him I'll do the talking, so I it zipped it. So far, um, it looks like we did a good job putting our trust in him. Ooh, sounds like she has a soft spot for your dad. Mm -hmm. He does have some fans here. She's definitely one. Good thing you dropped his name. Then we should have some time to snoop around. I don't want to snoop around. I want to find That's, Daniel and get the hell uh, out of here. That big house over there. <sighs> you live in a castle, dude. Uh, no. There's actually four families in it. What? The big house Seriously? over where? Am I blind? Yeah. It was the easiest thing to do when we built this place. It's like trailer homes. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, you get used to it. Hmm. Let's go. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. I'm coming, Daniel, oh, you idiot. I feel like he's it. not gonna come, though. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Too bad we don't have Daniel's powers for this. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Yeah, I highly doubt there's a spare set around, but we'll Whoa. look. Confide and convince? Fifteen steps to a good speech. <sighs> yeah. Nice read. Are you okay, Jake? must be so much fun. Yeah, yeah no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff. <laughs> oh, so this is his Ms. house. Beth sure likes to be on pictures. Whoa. Uh, cleanliness is, is next to godliness. Daniel, household household duties. Make bed, clean dishes, vacuum hall, and room. Take out trash, wash hair every two days, help with son Sunday laundry, count your blessings daily. Well, at least she's keeping him busy. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Yeah, unfortunately, and it's I not too hard to gain a child's fashion. trust. And when you're a bad person, that's not a good thing for the kid. The moat and the bean. Uh, let's see. New morning family practice. Patient name, Elizabeth Fisher. Antibiotics for yeast infection. Advil for stress slash anxiety. Refills allowed. Scissors? Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Because <laughs> she did it herself. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Maybe that's why it helps her go 
bad shit crazy. Mm. Might be enough to open that door. What is it? Ah, fire extinguisher. Uh, Sean, hey, you, you think that's a good idea? Hell yeah. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. She's going to show up. Look, I know it. She has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... <sighs> wanted to cure you from... Being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. That's why he almost lost his faith. Because he was living with them. Is that why you... ran away? Yep. I don't blame him. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean, you met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Oh. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Wow. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But she realized he wasn't was going to be manipulated, so she's like, you can go. I have no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. But if he knew this, why would he I'm bring Daniel, Daniel here? here? He knows she's I crazy. Was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that, She Sean. needs it more than we do. I that, mean, we that, found our mom now. As okay. much as Sean doesn't want to admit it, we have our mom. Bills. Wow. Thank you, Sean. What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. Oh no! Files doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more. He's time. gonna see the doorknob, though. Just give me the word. Okay. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Oh no. Hurry up. Shit. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Okay, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Huh. 
Dude, why isn't he hiding? Why isn't he hiding? Can he not fit in the other thing? Oh no! What the? Hello? Is someone there? No, why would somebody be here? What? Oh no! Don't look in the closet. There's there's no one here, I promise. <laughs> Can I interact with anything? I don't think so. Oh crap. Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? What happened? Sean, do you think it's gotta be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh man, that was crazy. Move. I really thought he was gonna catch us. The guy's leaving. I can't believe this type of shit still happens today. Hey, what is this? Let's see. Refuses to compete in sports. Shows a little interest in girls. Questions the scriptures. Jacob feels shame. I feel the Lord working through me to save Jacob from himself and the temptation to sin. I have told his parents that he must that he must attend daily prayer sessions with me until we have cast out his confusion. This is a test of my faith, and I will not fail him or Jacob. Flyer. Nobody is born gay. Reparative therapy works. Guaranteed testimonials. Jacob, note to another boy. Hi, Bruce. Meet me in the parking lot at 11 p.m. Be careful. Can't wait to see you again tonight. So she even kept his, like, notes. Oh, shit. Why did Daniel tell her so much? All right, Daniel. What happened to Daniel in Seattle? Does, any, does anybody else know what he can do? Search for any living relatives. Daniel, personality, personality traits. Missing mother, likes to be creative and build things, trains his gift regularly. Doesn't remember everything or doesn't want to. Pouts too much. Spoiled. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Mrs. Old Friends, Noah, Lila, likes to watch my sermons, mumbles in his sleep, loves Choco Crisps. Today, Daniel told me about his layover in Beaver Creek, Oregon. He was hiding out at his grandparents and made friends with another boy like Chris or Chris. Of course, he wanted to stay. The police showed up, but Daniel wasn't clear about what happened next. I know he's holding back, but the Holy Spirit will free him from his sins of omission. I knew this guy was sketchy, but... Whoa. Uh, who is this? John Nicholas Bowen. Incarcerated? Oh, dang. In Salt Lake City. Still has contacts among white gangs. Strong faith, but never read the Bible. Former meth addict, sensitive topic, inclined to pride. Newspaper clip. Three teenagers rob liquor store, owner shot dead. On the night of September 20th, a group of masked young men broke in Sally's liquor store. South Salt Lake. Under the influence of alcohol and drugs, they beat the clerk and stole the cash register. When caught by the store's owner on their way out, the oldest man pulled the gun and... Letter, Dear Elizabeth, I found your address in my jacket this morning, and I remember how I ended in this motel room last night, with a meal on my stomach and a warm light in my chest. I can't thank you enough for what you did. Your kind and patient words pulled me out of a downward spiral I've been falling in for weeks. If I remember correctly, you said you were looking for hands to help you build a... something. Oh, that's it. Dang. Okay, we shouldn't be here. Are you ready? Is she actually scared of me? Fellow members, I am sending you this message as a warning that our church may have a disturbed stalker who claims to be Daniel's brother. He is a Mexican teenager with one eye. With one eye! <laughs> with one eye! <laughs> Between 16 through 18 who calls himself Sean. Do not engage in any way if you happen to spot him. Do not call the police. Alert me or Nicholas at once. He must not be allowed near Daniel or any other members of the church. I pray I, I pray I have not alarmed you, but we have a responsibility to protect ourselves from any outside threat. Bless you all for your faith, love, and strength, Reverend Fisher. She's not scared of us. She doesn't want us to take Daniel away because she's manipulating him to do what she wants, to get more money for her church. Better get Daniel out of here. Welcome she gets to Reach for the Sky. Our billboards won't bore you. Reach a million drivers a year. Let our expert team of marketing... Mavens, create your next ad. From big to small, we cover the state. Call or email today for a free estate. That's it for that. What's it? What's here? 
She's running a typed ship here. <sighs> Gotta give her credit for that. Oh, we can search. Mm, I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. We don't want to keep that, I guess. What about the newspaper? <sighs> Fuck. She's clippings, some police search for suspects, and Sean and Daniel Diaz, Seattle right shooting ignite. So she knows. Oh, wait, I wanted to read that. Fuck. Oh, I already did. I thought it was going to be something She's else. She's done some bed. serious research. Seriously, how can she ignore that? Uh, dear Reverend Fisher, I hope you forgive what must feel like an intrusion into your church and beliefs, but I have great respect for you for what you've built over the past decade. I have no doubt that the Lord has chosen you for a reason. I am a longtime personal family friend of the Hackermans, including their precious daughter, who has had too long a time of illness. Blessedly, there is some medical help available that her family has, however, denied due to your advice. They see your pneumonia as a spiritual problem that only you can solve through prayer. While I believe that this is partially true, I believe that we have to work with the miracles provided by medicine. I hope you can see the severity of the situation as I feel some personal responsibility for Sarah Lee and her family, who are devout people. I'd like to talk next week if possible and hear you take on this matter. I hope you are not offended by my outreach. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Sincerely, Reverend Oliver Grant. Yeah, clearly she did not listen to him. We looked there. What's, uh, Bibles? Does she read anything else? I love how he's hiding and we're just snoop snooping away. The fuck? Did he did he find what Daniel's folder? I think the that's file? the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Creepy. Man. Daniel really doesn't realize how much danger he's in. He probably wants her to adopt him, though, because she probably made him feel like... I mean, he doesn't want to be on the run anymore, which I get, but you can't just trust strangers. I feel like if we tell him we found our mom, though, stuff. that might help. Maybe he wanted to meet our mom. Okay, I think that that is everything in here. Um, I didn't get to search over here. This is where Daniel has been, right? Nothing here. Is this where, like his room? Does she even believe in any of this? What's it say? Religious icon. Mm. <sighs> Nothing interesting. What else? I swear, even her bed looks stern. <laughs> Yeah, it's the boring uh, bedspread she got. Yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Miracles, where do they come from? What do they mean? Nightstand. Okay, what the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tired after using gift. Nothing gives him energy after. New diet? He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer, more study. Daniel pouty today after lesson. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. What will he deliver unto us and when? Yeah, she's obsessed. What a great fucking family portrait. Did Daniel draw that? Oh, shit. Thank you so much for telling like me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now, and please let Daniel know, without getting him or you in trouble, that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is, and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you, and if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask for help. I'm there. Take care, Karen. She hid it from him, I bet. I bet he didn't see that note from Karen. <gasps> we found a key. Okay. I found a key. Let's try it. 
don't see anything of interest. Surprised he didn't want the cigarettes. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Uh, let's see. Michael Bloom now to Elizabeth. This is Michael Bloom, and I know it's been a long time since we last talked, and I know that our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all knew you were a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has been surprised by your words and deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we are all proud of you. But we are also sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled before the Lord's wisdom. We hope you find it in your heart to forgive us, and we would be honored to host you for a visit anytime you wish. Bless you, Michael. She got kicked out of the church. They're probably like, you crazy. <laughs> Is this Daniel's room? <gasps> we found his yeah. room. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. Hang on, there was an organ. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? All right, now let's see his room. Assignment? Oh, hang on, picture. He looks happy. Fuck. Of course he's happy. They think he's a Can't god. I missed it. Is she forcing him to do this? Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. To be earnest and repent. Dang. I thought, so she's making him learn Bible verses, which isn't a bad thing, but I was hoping she was going to like, I don't know, teach him actual school stuff too, since he's nine. Happy birthday, Daniel. What was that? <sighs> Shit. People are really all over his power. Uh, dearest Daniel, I know you may never read this, but I had to reach out so after witnessing your Holy Spirit last week. I'm a sinner. I have not been I have not been a church going woman for years. But I heard a story from my neighbor about Elizabeth Fish and your miracles. I could feel the Lord whisper to me, and then I drove all the way from Truckee to Haven Point. When I saw your angel face, I knew my faith was coming back. You showed us that God is alive and working through Daniel. You raised the cross like he raised Jesus. I have found my faith again, and I am more strong than ever. You were sent to prove that God loves, that God's love is real. I am saving money to see you again, and I pray I can be of service forever. Your servant, Lori Conway. Servant? P.S. If you want to talk, here is my number. Jeez. Can you stop making noise over there? You're making me nervous. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. The Book of Daniel. So much for hot dog, man. Book of Daniel, chapter 7. I, Daniel, was troubled in spirit, and the visions that passed through my mind disturbed me. I approached one of those standing there, and I asked him the meaning of all of this. So he told me and gave me the interpretation of these things. The four great beasts are four kings that will rise from the earth, but the holy people of the Most High will receive the kingdom and will possess it forever. Yes, forever and ever. Oh, they're so cute. Aw, I knew it. She's going to be his first girlfriend. Cute. This is quite the change from power, Baron friends. <sighs> Locked, of course. Hey, what's in here? We can't check. I think that's everything. I suppose we can leave. Nice prison view, dude. Already looked in her closet. Check the bathroom, the kitchen. I think we're good. I think we've seen quite a bit of evidence. I hope we took some of the files with us to like show Daniel, but I don't think we did. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Whoa, yeah. she caught a fire! Oh my gosh! Freaking badass! So I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? 
All right. Why do I feel like he's gonna? Be careful, okay? He's Each gonna himself. succeed in getting Sarah, but we're gonna fail getting Daniel. Man, what should I use to try to get Daniel back? Should I talk about Sarah, or should I say, "Hey, I found Mom"? No. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Where do I go? Do I Talk follow him? Me. Where's Daniel? I'm not sure where I'll even find him. Up here? Is he in here? I figured he'd be playing with his sister. Locked, of course. Crap. Okay. Damn it, Daniel, you don't make it easy to save you. <laughs> Is he in here? <gasps> Who was that? Go quickly, because I saw so somebody running! Oh, it's Karen! I was like, oh no! Let's do it. Oh good, she's coming with us. That oh, might be what? helpful, right? Right? Let your power speak through this young vessel. Oh, this crazy bitch is in here. I am your humble sure. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean! You came back? Hey, Nano. Little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to him. join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh, she came here. I found her. I found her. Would Please come oh, with us. Praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Oh, please Wonderful. shut your trap. <laughs> it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. Wow, so he has I, permission to see his mother. I don't know her. Of course. I oh know. Oh my gosh, after this all this time. I don't want to go to Puerto Lobos. I want to see our mother. That. God, he's so You're full just of shit. Manipulating him, you sicko. Ugh. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let <laughs> me ask you. The way she said mother. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness where were you when daniel was lost where listen daniel i came here as soon as i found out you were here on your own i'm not on my own children are a gift from the lord oh please they if he didn't have magical powers you wouldn't even want him. him you were blessed with a divine gift and you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel. Honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. Actually, Daniel's responsible, an but you know. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother 
and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Oh, this time. I'm this time. Manipulati manipulative manipulative mm. tactic 101. I, He's uh, gonna choose her. I, that's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us. She didn't even let him talk. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate. Oh my the gosh, please. Hey, no. Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. Can I? I? Won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Oh Your no, our choices Sean's are coming up. His path. Your friend, Sarah Lee. She's very sick, and Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows. Oh my gosh! Shut trust. up, lady. Put a cork in it. A minister warned her. A minister from another church even sent her a letter, warning her that she's taking too much risk, that Sarah needs to see doctors. But I don't want Sarah Lee to be hurt. Have faith in me, Daniel. She'll be hurt I if you don't. You, you can I'm see doing. this letter yourself. Oh, we should have took. We should have grabbed it for evidence. And to you, kicked out of church. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy, so she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own. Oh, please! They were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. The letter from Karen. I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. She hid it from you. So you never know. She's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. Aha, we got him. Oh, please tell me we got him. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop. <gasps> Daniel, seriously? Don't. What if we had powers all of a sudden? Get up. Oh, hell yeah. Wait for you. Get up. And nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need Ugh. Sean! He must learn. Come on, that right there should prove that, like, I'm here for you, Listen, Daniel. Please. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sean. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> no, get up, Sean. No, get up, Sean. Get up. Ah! If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room. In Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! We have to no! keep going no! Oh, no, you're gonna kill it. him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. No, I'm gonna push. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, get up. Don't get up. Give up. We almost got him. We almost got him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> We're so close. I don't no. always make good choices. No. This has to be a good choice. Stop. Come on. Daniel. We're brothers. Daniel. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. Please! Stop! Leave him alone! Daniel, 
listen to him. Do you not see what they're doing to me? I'm literally about to die for you and you have magical powers. What the fuck are you doing? I won't stop. No Daniel, what, you... what the fuck? I'll come right back again and again. <laughs> He's gonna die, Daniel. I do too. She'd shut him up now. Daniel, no! Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. Daniel, Why? do something! What is wrong with you? No! Yes, we did it! <laughs> we did it! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! Daniel! Sean! I'm sorry. So Why do I feel like maybe she has powers too? It's gonna be a I plot twist. I was so confused. Thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. gonna die I feel like she's gonna lock us in here no I was right you started this fire you will all burn in she's this crazy hell. what the hell oh my god let us go move it you won't leave this place not with me alive all right then you can die Daniel to get her out of the way. Daniel, kill this bitch. Open the door, in then. <laughs> Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still <laughs> ah, yes. So satisfying. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Peace out. <gasps> we left the gun. No, we left the gun. Why did we leave the gun? Sean, why did you leave the gun? Oh, my anxiety. She's gonna shoot our mom, isn't she? She's gonna shoot somebody. Because we can never just have a happy ending. The music, yeah, it's like a sad song. Saved her. He got her out. Man, she's still trying to get Daniel. She's obsessed. Wait, I need him. I'm the speaker. I think she's upset about her church, maybe. Oh, your silence. I'm the question. I do good <laughs> but all right maybe Daniel's not so bad I I forgive him <laughs> the meaning of my life. Hey, look and now if we have a friend he'll be fine because he has a girlfriend unless we're going our separate ways
Okay, at least, at least it looks like it's gonna have somewhat of a happy ending for this episode, and I, I like that. To be continued, yay! They let us have a happy ending for once, for once in a long time, finally. All right, that was episode four, Faith. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Yay, we got a happy ending. All right, let's see what we got. You passed one of the tests. Oh, we did pass. Okay, I wasn't sure. Uh, let's see, you told Agent Flores the robbery was Finn's idea. Oh, a lot of people did. Okay, good. So y'all were mad at him too for manipulating Daniel. Uh, let's see, you attacked the guard to escape the hospital. <gasps> Wait, there was a way to do it without hurting anybody? My bad. <laughs> My bad. You didn't talk to Finn. 39% didn't talk to Finn. 45% talked to him and forgave him. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not forgiven, Finn. You broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. Oh, a lot of people did that. You refused to sing and got beat up. Yeah, hell no. We're not going to, like, cave into bullying. You got into Anton's truck. Oh, a lot of people chose that. Okay, I wonder what would happen if we walked. Uh, you didn't give money to the church. Well, yeah, we're broke. Overall, you tried to let Karen open up to you. <laughs> a lot of people did that. You smoked a cigarette with Karen. You accepted her help to clean the wound. Wow, okay. Nicholas was unaware of your presence. Uh, oh, wow. Some people uh, did not get away with that. You shared your money with Jacob. You managed to hide from Nicholas. Uh, you and Daniel both spared Elizabeth's life. We could have killed her? Really? Ah, oh, dang, we could have killed her, but you know what? It was probably a good thing that we didn't, except I feel like she's going to come back in the last episode now for revenge. So, like, should we have killed her? I don't know. You let Dan unleash his power on Elizabeth while he was hurting her. You shot Elizabeth. Oh, I feel like we have a, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that could come back and bite us, or it could be a good thing, considering I assaulted a cop, Daniel killed a cop, um, not to mention uh, hurting Finn and Cassidy and the rest of the gang with his powers. Yeah, like I feel like the less ticks on our bad list we get is like the better, <laughs> the better. Uh, not bad. I liked this chapter because we finally got some good news. It probably won't last, but like I'm going to enjoy it while I can. All right, a little preview this of the, the final chapter. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. <gasps> They're gonna make it across the border. I hope, yeah. I hope they need a happy ending. They deserve it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Chapter four was so good. I was very triggered by Daniel, but it turned out that uh, everything's fine. We made good choices, finally. I kept making so many bad choices, but we got Daniel, we saved him. I actually wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to do that. So I'm very proud. I'm very happy that like we snooped everything, that we trusted our mom. Uh, so far, everything is working out and I really hope it stays that way because they do deserve a happy ending after everything that they've been through. Um, I only said those things about Daniel because he was being a little brat, but I know at the end of the day he was a kid and he didn't know he had superpowers. So I don't actually think it's his fault that their dad died. I just got mad that like now that he has powers, he was abusing it. But I'm hoping he's finally starting to mature just a little bit now. And hopefully he'll actually become more of a likable character. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys for my next video.